Jesse is still very young, uh -huh. and the need to cling is a lot stronger. Uh -huh. So she just likes going to somebody else's baby, or was that baby born here? No. Oh, no. No, none of these guys were born here. Corey is very laid back. He doesn't move a lot, and he tolerates Jesse clinging. Oh. He's not thrilled about it, oh. but he tolerates it. Corey and Silvana, the other larger one, yeah. the one that's left in there, uh, were roommates. And then we introduced Jesse. Oh, so she sort of took over and became a, the mama. No. no. Jesse just goes over to him and latches on. <laughs> <laughs> but with, with three finger swaths, they're not like two finger. Uh, a a two-finger baby goes over and tries to latch on to another two-finger, and unless you've got the, the roommate personality match situation going, there's going to be a lot of biting. Oh. Yeah, there will be fight. These, these guys, when they don't like one another, most of the time they just turn their backs. Oh. And he does nothing to encourage Jesse to get on it. No. Not the collarbone, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we, uh, we had a breast pump, we had a very cooperative nursing mother, and funding lined up for the analysis of the mom milk, and the only thing we got was nada. You can't get milk out of a female, unless you're a baby sloth and you're sucking really hard. Um, a baby sloth is born with all its hair. Its eyes are open, its teeth are in place, and will grow throughout its lifetime. They scramble out of the womb on the last contraction onto mother's chest. She does not hold them. So the minute they're born, they have to cling. And that is instinctive, hence this. He's, they're clinging to me not because they love me so much, but because it's instinctive. They're going to cling. Some of them love me. <laughs> oh, I'm sure yeah. she does. Some of them love me. <laughs> uh, the only thing that we found we can substitute for mom milk is goat's milk, and it needs to be powdered, not fresh. Oh. They cannot stand the change in richness of fresh milk. Uh, remember that 30-day digestive process? It's very delicate. It also has tremendous implications for giving them medication. A zoo will call up Judy and sheepishly admit uh, we can't keep our sloths alive. And it's usually one of two things. Uh, they, every time the sloth gets sick, they shoot it full of antibiotics. They can't process the med. It'll kill them. Or they're feeding it something really stupid. There was some kind of petting zoo this guy was visiting, and he worked there. And he says, oh, we have a sloth. We feed him marshmallows. Oh, for oh, goodness sake. And I felt like, that, well, you're not going to have one long. <laughs> and I tried talking to him. Judy tried talking to him. He says, oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Sometimes though, their, their blood sugar looks funny. Duh. <laughs> Kind of little one just kind of going to sit down there. Sorry, Corey. He's just sticking to you big time. I'll get you guys some of these. Hold on now. You have to hold on. Oh. <laughs> now, will that baby just hold on all day long, or will she? No. She'll. No. There's no food left, and Jesse's a chow hound. Oh. I mean, I had all kinds of leaves in there when I came on duty this morning, and I'm going to have to get them some more because they're silly. Jesse probably eats more than the bigger than ones. Than the bigger ones? Yeah. Yeah. He's quite the little child now. Corey came to us clinging to his mother. Uh, a local business owner saw a mother and baby fall from a tree. Well, it's pretty unusual to see an adult sloth fall unless uh, a branch breaks, then then you you know you would get a fall. So they went over, they were fine, they boosted them back into the tree. Mom fell again, and at that point they rightly assumed something was wrong. So they brought them in, and we were delighted to find that the only thing wrong with Mom is that she was cold and wet. 
she'd lost strength and she just wasn't able to play. She wasn't the most attentive mother in the world, but she was taking care of the baby. So once we were sure the baby had not been injured, we just left the baby with mom. So they got all dried out. Um, we made sure they were eating well. Mm. It was a nice sunny day. We even knew what tree they fell from. So Judy and the vet go to release mom and baby. And mom goes straight up the tree, leaving the baby behind. Mm -hmm. And would not come back down. Uh, they backed off and waited for quite some time. Would not come back down. So we had to bring the baby here. 